When I was in high school, my focus was terrible. My friends always seemed to have more energy than me. And when we played sports, they always seemed more alert, more skilled, ready. Even when we talked about homework and studying, it always seemed like they got more work done than me while I sat home and procrastinated. Now, I can read and get work done with a lot more sharper attention. My body is a lot more muscular and explosive, and I'm energetic throughout the day, even on days when I'm not blasting my body with caffeine. Increased testosterone, increased energy, sharper attention span, and better muscle growth? What kind of performance enhancer can give you all of these benefits with no harmful side effects? I'm not talking about C4 pre-workout, guys. I'm talking about sleep. By the way, my name is Greg. My goal is to help out young men on their self-improvement journey, and clearly you wanna be part of the tribe. So if you could hit like and subscribe down below, it'd be a win-win for both of us. During high school, I spent most days just walking around like a zombie. My attention span was trash. And oftentimes, to keep myself from falling asleep in class, I'd have to pinch myself on the leg every few minutes to stay awake. It seemed like a lot of my other friends didn't struggle with staying awake in class and they seemed energetic. They seemed a lot sharper and they always got their work done much quicker than me. If anyone were to see my grades in high school, they'd think, well, nothing's wrong, this kid's fine. But that was far from the truth. In fact, most days I struggled to even stay present-minded and mindful at all of what I was doing. And this is no lifestyle to live, but unfortunately, it's the reality for a lot of young men, probably like yourself. Now, being addicted to watching YouTube throughout high school, I ended up watching a couple videos about sleep and how important it was and you have to get your eight hours of sleep or else uh, you won't grow or whatever. And obviously, I didn't listen. Now, I don't want you to finish this video thinking, yeah, sleep is important, whatever, that's cool. I want you to realize that your lack of sleep and 80% of people are lacking in sleep. You and I are both one of them. I need you to understand when you finish this video that lack of sleep is basically ruining your life. And if you don't believe me, here's some actual facts. We should know now that eight hours of sleep is the golden point to where you're getting optimal sleep and it's kind of what you should be shooting for every night in terms of how much sleep you're getting. A study found that young men who get five hours of sleep, doesn't sound that bad, right? Five hours of sleep, saw a 10 to 15% decrease in their testosterone. And just in case you didn't know, testosterone is that critical manly masculine hormone. It's responsible for what gives you motivation to really push through and drive to finish a mission, to finish your objective. It contributes to your muscle growth and it also contributes to your overall quality of life. Having a decrease in your testosterone by such a significant amount, like 10 to 15%, it overall just decreases your quality of life. And this isn't the only thing that bad sleep does. By now, you probably wanna know how you can start getting to that good sleep level. So you can get that laser sharp focus, that better attention span, that increased testosterone, better energy throughout the day, better workouts. And I'm gonna explain to you exactly the steps that you can take to start having better sleep. The first step is to have a bedtime and obey that bedtime. A lot of us, especially myself, didn't have this bad of sleep issues when we were little kids and our parents told us when to go to bed because we listened most of the time. But now, especially in your teenage years, when you have more freedom and control over when you can go to bed, you often don't establish rules. You need to give yourself a rule. Set a bedtime and obey it. And don't make exceptions for it unless it's especially necessary. And definitely do not make any exceptions for that one friend who's always on Discord. And when you tell them that you're gonna get off and go to bed, they always tell you, no, stay on for at least two more games. Come on, two more games. You're stupid and gay if you get off. What are you, weak? That guy's a loser. Go to bed, get your rest, King. Something else you have to consider if you want some good quality sleep is to make sure you're not doing what I call high dopamine activities. And this is anything from watching YouTube, gaming, beating your chicken, and all sorts of stuff that elevates your dopamine to a super high level so that your attention span is super heightened and, and focused on something that's high dopamine. You can instead swap this out for something that I call a low dopamine activity. And this can be something like meditating, reading, journaling. These are incredibly healthy habits that are both good for your mental health, but also help you wind down and get ready for bed before you go to sleep. You also need to consider the fact that not all the time that you spend in bed is the time that you spend sleeping. If you wanna wake up at six in the morning, but also get eight hours of sleep, what time should you go to bed? 10 o'clock, right? That's wrong. 
Because saying 10 o'clock assumes that as soon as it hits 10 o'clock, you fall straight asleep, don't wake up at any point in the middle of the night, and your sleep is perfect until six in the morning when the alarm rings. Nobody sleeps like this. I don't sleep like this. I personally have really bad sleep. I end up waking up throughout the middle of the night. Oftentimes, I can't even fall asleep when I go to bed for even an hour, maybe even two hours or more. So you need to allocate more time for bed. What I personally would recommend is that you plan to be in bed for anywhere from nine hours to 11 hours. And you might think that this is kind of counterintuitive. If you want to be more productive, why would you stay in bed for so long? You're wasting time at that point, right? That isn't really the case. Because if you get better sleep, the work that you do throughout the day when you wake up is gonna be dozens of times more productive, more well done, and with a lot more focus, mindfulness, and presence. It's kind of a counterintuitive thing that you need to keep in mind when we're talking about sleep. Having good sleep turned my life around. It's the reason why now I'm currently building my dream body. And I'm seeing amazing progress. Guys, if you want to live a good life, you have to have good sleep. Make sure you're allocating plenty of time towards your day for your sleep, and you're going to see some amazing results. Winners win. Losers lose. Go be a winner today.